Scotty, and he said, I, I could be Scotty. And he said, I even looked at Alan Iverson. Yeah, I could be that guy, again, much bigger Alan Iverson, but tack of the basket. So, I, again, I think his greatest gift and, and his greatest sense of pride is passing the basketball. Most people don't want to accept that, but that's the truth. Well, they need to get over it because most people don't know nor appreciate basketball because clearly the two greatest gifts that LeBron James has outside of his athleticism and his physicality is his willingness to pass and his willingness to defend. And he's elite in yeah, both categories. He's elite, elite in, in, and his, and he's elite in both categories. We have why I think it's apropos that he surpassed Scottie Pippen because how did you say which one about Scottie Pippen? That brother right. defended. He can he, lock, he can yeah. lock you down. That's how the Lakers lost that first champ, the Chicago's first championship, because Scotty Pippen was put on Magic Johnson for 94 feet. Mm -hmm. But let me take this, y'all, to another level, if you don't mind. Because as we sit here and applaud the assist record set by LeBron James, I want to say that I I'm proud of this brother. This dude right here is showing himself to be a leader. Guys flocked to Miami. The way he got him and Chris Bosh did. The way he had something to do with that too. Of course, South Beach, South Beach, we let nothing work on there. Okay, but when you got guys wanting to come to Cleveland, Kevin Love, you know, James Jones, Mike Miller, these boys, that says something. And if Love is smart, he won't think about going anywhere else because LeBron is going to make him look good for years to come. And, you know, this year is a growing period. Imagine once he becomes more familiar with you, what it's going to be like for Kevin Love. So if he's smart, he'll stay in Cleveland. But what I'm saying to you is this. This brother is showing incredible, incredible leadership because you see Cleveland flourishing under his leadership. They've become a team. And obviously you don't want to take credit away from Black, who obviously is known for defense more so than anything else in Israel. But it's a pretty, pretty nice guy. I've had an opportunity to meet and talk with him. Black's a pretty nice guy. But I look at LeBron. The leadership ability, the ability to galvanize troops, this is something that he didn't have before. He's got it now. He knows how to be a leader.